and I want to introduce you another woman and uh, maybe just uh, listen up for a second folks uh, it's a very serious situation we have a woman here who um, but she'll tell you her situation herself her name is Linda Rogers and she's been on hunger strike for the last I don't know how many days over 30 days she's been on hunger strike for 38 days here in a country in a tent right over there so I'm delighted that she's well enough to come along and speak to us here tonight and she's a a great woman, a woman of great integrity, in my opinion. For Linda Rogers, please. Good afternoon, I'm Lauren Heron and August Fern Fern Heron. Thanks, Peter Madden, for the opportunity to speak at this rally today. Um, the freedom of speech is very important. Helen McAtee needs to know that. Um, so, so I was hunger, I was, I'm on hunger strike here for 38 days and uh, I remain on hunger strike for, the, for a list of seven demands. The first demand was to house all homeless, to all, all Irish homeless, all Irish homeless in this country. My colleague, my comrade, my friend, um, Paul Lennon remains on hunger strike. It's, it's 49th day in Coverhill Prison, Roman Prison. Um, there's an extension put on there, and we, we want to know why. Uh, for uh, even a reply by email, uh, that's uh, that's other than copy and paste, we'll say, and, and an answer to my phone calls and to other others in our team uh, at the GPO hunger strike. So on the um, on the 18th of, of November here, Paul Lennon was taken away under arrest. So he's a um, public order there, but uh, it was uh, uh, under the unusual circumstances that he's now 16 days remaining in a cell and uh, under uh, abusive, uh, we we'll say, experiencing an abusive situation there and uh, a, a breach of human rights, a breach of this, the prison service uh, charter uh, as well. So we're, we're rallying, against, rallying against that and trying to get some um, proper order out of them really. Um, so and we're trying to, uh, trying to reassure them that we're out here trying to do something for them, that we hear them, that we hear the struggle and that it's, it's shocking that what's going on really, you know. So. Um, so George Orwell said, um, "If liberty means anything at all, it means it means uh, anything at all. It means the right to tell people what they do not want to hear." Okay. Freedom would be mean meaningless without security in the home and in the streets. You know. So where globalisation means, um, like at the home strike, we, we were promoting um, uh, the uh, awareness of the WEF and Klaus Schwab. So if I had a penny or a, a hot dinner for every homeless person, uh, the amount of times I was asked about the World Economic Forum, uh, that would be a great thing. You know, so what globalisation means, as it so often does, that the rich and powerful now have new means to further uh, enrich and empower themselves at the cost of the poor and uh, and weaker. And uh, so, uh, so we have the responsibility to protest in the name of universal freedom. Okay, universal freedom. So. What we need is a critical, independent, and investigative uh, press. In, in, it's a lifeblood of any democracy. And to weigh up the democracy versus what we have now, I don't know. It's a bit like it's a bit like uh, North Korea, really. What we have now, and what, what, what they're trying to bring in, should I say? Where my comrade Paul is now, really, um, they have him what they want him because uh, fr um, only free men can negotiate. Prisoners cannot uh, enter into contracts. Your your freedom and mine cannot be cannot be separated. Nelson Mandela said that, but I, I think it applies to Paul. He can't negotiate where he is. I can, in my own respect, but uh, they need to come to me and try and make an effort to negotiate to actually hear us. Because I had we had two uh, one uh, politician there that came down and made, made an appointment with us twice and she failed on two occasions a day after one another I, I, she was a busy lady obviously but she didn't approach us in any past or even apologize for for um we set up a studio here um out in you know in in, in fresh air would say up outside here out, just right over there and she knew where we were anyway and uh, we just got the the small promise but uh, so other people were um have been uh, approached and we await i await their um honest uh, you know uh, uh, attention in the matter to house the Irish homeless, really, you know. So, 
At the end of the day, Paul was trying to uh, impress upon anyone who approached us that we need to believe in ourselves, we need to have faith in ourselves, we need to come together. With this faith, we, 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 we will be able to transform the jangling discords of our nation and, and to unite, you know, into a beautiful symp symphony of brotherhood and sisterhood. So, thank you very much, right? Thank you.